Today we're going to be building a miniature solar panel using a firm foam backing, two solar panel, two solar cells, and some copper tape with clip leads that have copper wire exposed. So the first step we're going to do is we're going to attach one of the clip leads to the back or gray side of the first solar cell. And so on this gray side, we have two white contacts we can attach to either one of those. And so we're going to peel off the backing on our copper tape, stick that onto the exposed copper wire. This makes it easier to align it with your contacts on the solar cell instead of trying to hold the wire and place the copper tape over it at the same time. And so now that I'm aligned, I'm going to go ahead, gently press it down, and then smooth it out with the back of my thumbnail. Next, I want to flip over the second one that has no wires attached so that its gray side is face up and the one that we just attached a wire to has the blue side face up. Now I'm going to go ahead and take a piece of copper tape and I'm going to tape over this white contact on the gray side and the white contact over on the blue side of our other solar cell. I want to be careful not to press down between the solar cells because I'm going to flip over the cells after this and I don't want the tape sticking to the foam board. And so now we've attached the front of our solar panel to the back of the next solar panel. And we want to make sure that the copper tape doesn't end up sticking to the front side of this or the back side of our first solar panel. Now that we have a wire, our panels connected, we can go ahead and attach our last wire and test our device. So I'm going to peel off the copper tape again, attach it to the exposed copper wire on the clip lead, and then place that over the white contact on this solar cell. Now I have two solar cells attached in series. And I can go ahead and attach them to my voltmeter. So when I measure the voltage, I read about 1.8 volts. And then I'm going to switch over the lead and I can read about 180 milliamps of current on my solar cell. If I multiplied those two together, that would give me the power of my solar cell. But for the last step, what I'm going to do is I'm going to protect my solar panel by putting on a laminating cover over the panels. And this will help keep them attached to the foam board so that they won't get broken as easily. And so for this, I just want to make sure that cells are placed in the right position and now I'm going to place the laminating tape over them. You don't want to press down too hard because if you press down too hard where it's attached to the wire you can crack your panel. Fold over any excess laminating tape and now I can try to power different device.
Can we see that our solar panel works? 